Hi, my name is Adam and I'm going to be demonstrating a website that I built for a friend of mine using CakePHP. This website is basically a simplified message board. Most message boards include a multitude of users, various topics, and threads within those topics. This message board is much simpler than that. What we're looking at here is a list of all of the messages on the website. They're not split up by topic. The goal of the website is to keep everybody informed about everything in a simple way without flooding them with emails. Part of the simplicity of this website is that there are only two users. There's the regular user and the administrator. You'll see here that there's no username. I'll go ahead and log back in as the administrator. Another thing I'd like to point out is that this website allows for attachments just like most message boards and just like email. Next I'd like to add a message to the message board. You'll see here that you can manually input the date and time, and this was requested by the website's owner. The rest of the form is pretty self-explanatory. I'll go ahead and fill it out real quick. And I'd like to demonstrate attachments for you. One of the things I did with the attachments is I made it so that these characters right here get stripped out. And this is to avoid complications with people using multiple operating systems with this message board. So I'll go ahead and upload these files here which have special characters in their names. Okay, now I'll click on submit and you'll see that the mes message is right here at the top of the list. Now I'll click on this to go to the attachments and you'll see that the file names are all clean. Now I'll edit the message and add a few more attachments to it. I'd like to show you here that the website includes various icons for the file types, as you can see here. Now I'll go ahead and submit that, go back into the message, and you'll see here that this thumbnail was automatically generated. Now for the search page, I'll just show you that for the fields related to time, you have these three options here, and then for the fields not related to time, you have these three options here. Now, I already covered the list, but just a couple more things about it. I'd like to show you what the pagination looks like. I'll go ahead and change this value from 30 to 1. And then I'll refresh the page. So that's what that looks like. I'll change it back to 30. And refresh the page again. The other thing I wanted to point out is that you can sort by the various fields all except for memo and actions. This manage functionality here is just for the administrator account. The subjects as you saw earlier are in a drop down menu and this is where you can manage the order and you can also edit them and create a new subject. And you can also of course change the passwords. Another thing I'd like to point out is that this website has protection against cross-site request forgery. I'll go ahead and demonstrate with Firebug that if I change a field's name or tamper with the form in any way, uh, I'll get this page here. And this was logged too, so I can keep track of that. So just a couple other things about the website. It is optimized for mobile devices. This is what it looks like. I'll go ahead and go to the add form so you can see that. And this here is the iPhone. And you can upload with the iPhone. This uses the pickup app in order to do that. And an another thing I'd like to point out about the website is that I did design it, although I don't consider myself much of a designer. If I was to do this website again, I'd probably use Twitter Bootstrap instead. I've used that on various websites now, several websites, and I really like it. So I probably would have used that if I were to design it again. Um, as you can see, I wrote in this message here that the website has valid HTML. It ranks well with both YSlow and PageSpeed and uses progressive enhancement. And I'll demonstrate that real quick. So here's the ad form again. I will disable JavaScript. And you'll see here that you can still attach files and everything. Um, everything still works. You can still view the images. 
and that's about it. So thanks for watching this video. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or leave a comment on this video. Thanks for watching.